the coolest gadgets coming in the next 12 months. Should you choose Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5? What does a folding laptop look like? Can you fly in an airplane wearing earbuds? What gadget will help you keep track of your neighbors? And what surprises Samsung got for us? Bracelets, consoles, smartphones, drones, strap-ons… What? <clears throat> there are hundreds of toys in the world, which we call gadgets, so as not to seem utterly childish. Today we will tell you about the coolest gizmos that every man looks at with a sparkle in his eyes. Disconnect Alexa so that she does not overhear or get jealous. Hide your credit card and do not forget to pull the bell under the video. Let's go! Video games make an introverted lifestyle so much better. Space adventures, wars for justice, racing on non-existent supercars, not to mention games like The Last of Us Part II that match and surpass many movies in the field of visual storytelling. Don't even try to argue with that. And all this can be experienced without getting up from your favorite couch. Perfect! The next generation consoles have been waiting for you for a long time, and the most important details about both PS5 and Xbox Series X consoles are already known. 8K resolution, high refresh rates, powerful processors, and fast SSDs. However, in all other respects, the consoles are very different. In 2013, Sony was recovering from the not-so-successful life cycle of PS3, there's a rumor that if the PS4 had not been so successful, the company's gaming division would have come to an end. Microsoft believed that it had created a revolutionary device. It's funny now, of course. <laughs> Both the PS5 and Xbox Series X are rumored to be priced around $500. With the release date, everything is more explicit. Microsoft and Sony have pledged to release their consoles this holiday season. Now let's get through the technical characteristics. Wipe your glasses! The console processors don't differ from each other much on paper, but the Xbox Series X is slightly faster. The same applies to the graphics accelerator. The PS5's power is 10.3 teraflops, while the Xbox Series X has 12 teraflops. The number of processed operations per second. One teraflop is 10 to the 12th operations per second. The 1.7 teraflops difference can be significant has nothing to do with flip-flops. The design of the consoles is, to put it mildly, different. The Xbox Series X is pretty conservative. It is a vertical black box with the Xbox logo in the upper left corner. Almost a coffin. Coffin with a floppy drive. PS5's design is entirely different. The attachment looks like an elongated box with rounded corners and bulging edges. Now, it's not black, but black and white. And darn it, this futurism suits it very much. We do not know, however, how appropriate this sexy beauty will look in your camper. There will be two variants of the PS5 available, with and without an optical disk drive. The optical disk drive variant looks like the console got pregnant, but the price of the digital-only option is likely to be lower. Now the most important thing – games. Microsoft has promised that all Xbox One games will be available on Xbox Series X. Moreover, even some titles from the Xbox 360 and the very first old Xbox can be run on the new console. Glory to retro gaming! Sony's approach is less specific. Many, but not all, PS4 games should work on PS5. Games optimized for PS4 Pro will retain their enhancements. However, not all games will work equally well. It is important to remember that although there is already enough information about the consoles, everything will become evident only after their release. We do not know the exact release dates or the cost of the consoles. So far, the Xbox Series X seems to be better, at least in theory. It is more powerful, more games will be available for it, and it looks more familiar. Even Gabe Newell, the creator of Steam, the digital game distribution service, thinks the Xbox is cooler. Why? Quoting Gabe, because it is.
the world's first flexible display PC Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold looks more like a tablet than a laptop. Except for the price. <laughs> this laptop is only suitable for wealthy guys who are ready to shell out $2,500 for a mostly experimental model. It was initially clear that the device would not be cheap, so the announced amount was not a surprise, given the cost of previously released foldable smartphones. We're looking at you, Samsung. But the question here is whether the new product can live up to expectations. Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold stands out with its relatively compact size. After all, it's quite thick and low weight. The device, made in a light alloy and carbon fiber housing, weighs less than one kilogram. When unfolded, it offers a 13.3-inch OLED touchscreen with a resolution of 2048 by 1536 pixels. The maximum brightness for a 4 to 3 screen is 300 nits. Nit – Name of the unit of brightness Typical computer display brightness ranges from 200 to 350 nits. And nit is also an ugly insect. Live with it. There are two modes of operation. Laptop mode, in which the screen is divided in half into two independent ones, as well as a mode with a wireless keyboard connected. When folded, there is a fairly large gap between the halves of the case. Still, Lenovo has figured out how to beat this design feature. The manufacturer suggests using this space for the mini-fold Bluetooth keyboard while carrying it. It is included in the package and is ideal for users who prefer the familiar keyboard to the newfangled virtual keyboard with tactile feedback. The Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold features an 11th Gen Intel Core processor with integrated Intel UHD graphics, 8GB of 4267MHz LPDDR4X RAM, a 1TB PCLE 3.0x4 NVMe SSD, and a 50 kilowatt battery. Two USB Type-C ports are provided. In addition to the keyboard, the package also includes a leather case with a built-in folding stand and a stylus. Not a bad device for wealthy risk takers. Sony continues to develop its line of noise-canceling headphones consistently. And this is a real noise cancellation. Not just rubber earbuds that plug the ear canal. Noise cancelling. Sony WF-1000X M3 is a pair of dynamic vacuum headphones, 8.5 grams each, for its form factor. For comparison, AirPods Pro weigh 5.4 grams each. There are very few wireless headphones in the world that can compete with the Sony WF-1000X M3 in terms of functionality. For starters, the earbuds boast 8 hours of battery life on a single charge with noise cancelling turned off. AirPods Pro, for example, last 6 hours. The case offers 3 full charge modes for 18 hours of battery backup if you're using earbuds with noise cancelling on and 24 hours when it's off. There's also a quick charge feature that gives you 90 minutes of playtime after just 10 minutes plugged in. Great for someone like me who forgets to recharge before commuting or short flights. The main feature of these plugs, noise cancellation, works surprisingly well. You can insert new Sonys into your ears, turn on the noise reduction, and calmly watch, for example, our video about immunity while the subway rumbles around like hell. Here's a link to it. Every year, Apple basically sells us the same phone that is slightly better than last year. Don't expect surprises this year, either. Apple is expected to release four variants of the iPhone 12 at once. Users can choose from two modifications of the iPhone 12 with displays with a diagonal of 5.4 and 6.1 inches, as well as two versions of the iPhone 12 Pro with a 6.1 inch and 6.7 inch displays. In this case, all models will receive OLED displays. The Pro line will additionally receive a LiDAR sensor, which is also used in the iPad Pro 2020 lineup. In terms of design, the new iPhone 12 is closer to the iPhone 4 than the iPhone 5. Also, a new version of iOS 14 will be available at the start. Woohoo! In general, Apple is doing everything as usual. The camera is better, the display is brighter, the price is higher. Everything as we're used to. 
Let's move on, huh? The company has long been developing medical technology and health monitoring programs to support the sales of its gadgets. And this is visible in the latest smartwatch, Fitbit Versa 2. The original Versa was a massive hit for Fitbit, but the Versa Lite, a stripped-down, cheaper model, turned out to be less popular. Versa 2 has elements of both models with new features, the most important of which is the voice assistant Alexa. Let's talk? Yes, Amazon's smart voice assistant is not the first time we've met, including smart wearable electronics. But this is the first time an assistant has been implemented on a Fitbit device. Fitbit swapped out the previous model's LCD for AMO LED. The device received a resolution of 300 by 300 pixels and 1000 nits of brightness. Versa 2 is also the first Fitbit smartwatch to offer an always-on display with time, date, battery life, and several activity indicators. However, keep in mind that this will affect battery life. Many have tried and failed to integrate Alexa with smartwatches, but the Versa 2 is arguably the best performance to date, but not even perfect. Here's how it works. You hold the side button, wait for the Alexa symbol to appear, ask it a question, and wait for the assistant to show the answer on the screen. On the screen. Well, yes, Versa 2 has no speaker. Accordingly, all Alexa responses are text only. And if you're already an Alexa user, the good news is that Alexa on Fitbit can also control smart home devices. You can ask her to dim the lights, adjust the speaker volume, and even play individual radio stations on certain speaker groups in the house. It is also possible to use it to set an alarm or display physical activity and fitness goals for the day, if you are too lazy to scroll through the menu. Alexa is undoubtedly the star of the gadget, but small improvements in design and software make the Versa 2 one of the best smartwatches on the market. They say that in Texas, they love everything big. Apparently, Samsung is becoming Texas. The size of its new devices is huge. At the recent Galaxy Unpacked event, the Koreans unveiled the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, a large smartphone with battleship power. Aside from the improved Galaxy Z Fold 2, the Galaxy Tab S7 tablet, the Galaxy Watch 3 smartwatch, and the Galaxy Buds Live active noise-canceling wireless headphones. Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a tremendous 6.9-inch dynamic AM OLED 2X display with WQHD Plus resolution, 2960 by 1440. The first thing to say is that the company seems to have finally stopped chasing Zoom and took into account the feedback from buyers who spoke about the futility of 100x Zoom, Samsung S20 Ultra. Unless you like to spy on your neighbors, photo enthusiasts now have 50x digital and 5x optical zoom on the Note 20 Ultra's 12-megapixel telephoto lens. In addition to it, the developers have equipped the camera unit with 108-megapixel main module, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide-angle module, and autofocus with a laser sensor. The camera also records video in 8K. Simply put, this camera sees better than a thousand eagles. The rest is nothing to write home about. As always, the most powerful processor for Android on the market, and an even more sensitive stylus. It may have even cried watching Titanic. <laughs> Everything is straightforward here. The DJI Mavic 2 Pro is one of the best drones in existence today. The quadcopter has a camera with a 1-inch Hasselblad sensor and can record video in 4K at a bitrate of 100 megabits per second. It also has multi-directional anti-collision sensors, making it one of the most reliable quadcopters available today. The OcuSync 2.0 signal transmission system improves communication quality for remote controls and accessories, and can also stream live 1080p video, even over long distances. It is a foldable model and is one of the best in the mid-size device. DJI has added several flight options that have become familiar to the company's models, such as self-driving modes and the RTH return to home function. The quadcopter is controlled with a remote control that has the smartphone plugged into it to see the image from the camera. 
the miracle of technology can fly for about a half an hour. This is ideal for spying on your neighbors while they… do… things. But overall, it's ideal for anything from voyeurism to capturing pretentious video clips. And all this in 4K. As any grown-up child will tell you, there are never too many gadgets. The main thing is not to let the whole salary go to waste on drones. And if you already bought a smartwatch with Alexa, then treat the electronic girl with respect. When the robot revolution comes, she will remember it. Brain frame out.